help us learn to value life? Like, you, you wonder why would someone go through all that trouble? Maybe it's because something's happening I should be aware of. And right. I think more people have paid right. attention as a result. Now, Priya, you see, you're seen on, the, uh, on, on this cable station, this cable network uh, as well, separate from the show that where you're a guest. Here, let them talk. Uh, Okay, all right. I thought I wanted to bring that up, but no, I guess I'm not I don't seen want to... anywhere, right. and then can keep it that way. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let's. Uh, but I'm really happy that talk about your got video out, work. Uh, let's let's talk about your video work. I want to talk about you for all a these moment. years. I actually made a film about that called "The Real Eco Terrorism." Uh huh. So Where can folks film. see your films? Uh, it's not online, but it might be. You can Google "The Real Eco Terrorism." But the idea was just really to interview people uh, who like Professor Braun Taylor, who kind of explains it really well because he wrote a book about it, um, and um, just that uh, America has a long history. Of the environmental movement comes right out of these other movements. Mm -hmm. It just happens to take place in the environment. We have a call coming in, and uh, I was going to give it a shot. Uh, a caller, uh, there's an eight-second delay, so please don't listen to your uh, television while you're answering the call. Hello? Uh, yes, you're on the air. I have a question for the guest. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, Can you give yes. a job? What? Have a good blowjob. Something about a blowjob. Uh, no, I see. Speaking I'm of sorry blow about jobs, that. <laughs> um, that's We're going to have to drop that That's the corporate media's job. Uh-huh, right. Oh, that's true. Uh, and I, uh, it's unfortunate that we're not getting a good call, but uh, hey, it's New York occasionally City. we do. It's okay. It's hit and miss. Occasionally we do, right. It's hit or miss, and you never know who's going to get through, who's Can persistent enough. So I think people should be concerned about the way people are treated as terrorists and also the destruction of their environment. And yeah. so we have to reframe, and that's why independent media is important. Mm hmm and let's hope that's not also corrupted. Uh, yeah. Why do you think that ind independent media <laughs> could be corrupted? Well, that, no, I don't want to change the subject. No, but if we're not vigilant, subject. our movements can become something other than what we hoped and wanted them to be and function as, as effective Have you seen against that? this kind of destruction that we are appalled by. And if we share that kind of like horror, which I think we do, if we're aware, uh, we want to be able to have an adequate response. You Have know? you seen Instead that? Instead of Priya? being a movement that's so easily divided with informants and that kind of have you see, Have you experienced that kind of thing? Um, I no. I guess what used, to, what used to be called um, COINTELPRO. Talking, yeah, yes, I have. And also, uh, I think anybody involved in these, you know, sometimes feels a pressure of one kind or another, whether it's in the street with direct violence mm -hmm. or other kind of being undermined in other ways or discredited, very much like the mandate of COINTELPRO, which is to neutralize mm -hmm. and discredit and marginalize act certain types of protest as dangerous threats, whereas others are considered reasonable and mainstream. So Distance. From yeah, each other, so yeah. uh, I think that self-awareness is really important considering Cointel Pro is not dead. It's an active government program, and we see it in forms such as Operation mm. Backfire and the Green Scare, which involved many government agencies like the Joint Terrorism Task Force and uh, it just goes on and on, the FBI. And uh, so it's like, do we want that? The Patriot Act, do we want this to be how we live in the society we live in? Or were we hoping for something else like a clean, safe environment in a place where one could express one's ideas and not be met with uh, the kind of jail sentences uh, we see handed out to people because well, the state knows yeah. if no one cares they can get away with this. Right. So Priya Warcry, let's go back to our original uh, topic we came and started at the top Jeff, of the half hour, free, yeah. which is uh, free, right? And tell us a little bit about free and, and that now that free is free after well, nine and a half I'm years sure it's been, it's, it's really prison. hard because, you know, he just isn't really able to talk to anybody right now, and he just have you, you know, talked to him? Have you been able very to talk overwhelming? To him? Um, no, and uh, I think he's in the woods though, which I'm happy about because these are the very same forest areas that yeah. he worked so hard to protect when he was only 19 years old and uh, 18, 19, uh, building these tree sets and these you know 200 foot trees are very old and uh, ancient. Mm -hmm. and just outstanding and that's why people work so hard to protect them Wouldn't and they still need protection. It, it doesn't just reflect the success. Uh, there was a certain amount of success to the tree sitting campaigns. There's some success but when you see it the started scale by Julia of Butterfly Hill. Was I don't the know if success is quite the word. Effort perhaps, you know. Yeah, uh -huh. That has had a resistance. It's resisted uh, it's at least brought. Yes, Julie Butterfly know, have, was very committed. It in might have sitting. saved a few trees but more than that even it it, it, it calls attention. It's kind of, you know, the, the media the is a huge problem, and this is one way to sort of uh, wake people up to their world, you know. Right. And, uh, that, you know, you hope to save thousand, save multi thousand year old trees, magnificent multi thousand year trees representing, you know, forested areas of this continent that have not been touched. Well, if you haven't been there, it's humans. hard to describe something right. in an abstract sense like global warming or climate change, but when you actually have a connection to life and can feel and see and experience 
the loss and the beauty, you understand why people care. Mm -hmm. And I think you can't like really substitute right. that with anything. That's so interesting. So I would encourage that kind of direct connection. So right, you encourage that, and, and it seems like you're you're not just talking about uh, you know uh, you know industrial countries cutting their output of uh, yeah, carbon dioxide. Worse. It's just getting worse. The whole a, global you. pollution and industry and and you know the loss mm -hmm. of biodiversity and forests and beautiful places. And instead, what we have poverty and starvation and fascism. So the choice is actually clear as to what to oppose and what to fight for. And I think people are care and are capable and can do something. And we see examples of it. Jeffrey Lures, whom we talked about tonight, is one example of mm -hmm. it. Very important, you know, to read his writings actually at his website freefreenow.org, which I started many years ago. And then Daniel McGowan came along and helped a lot before he was kidnapped and taken away by the state. He, by the way, was a non-cooperating witness with the state, did not rat on his friends, and didn't actually commit a crime uh, as in terms of hurting anybody or harming anything. So the fact that he got seven years is it's just really a... For a conspiracy, basically, for being friends with these people. Guilt by association. In fact, it's guilty until proven innocent. That's the approach. And just today, I believe, the Supreme Court ruled that certain persons are non-persons and as such can be prosecuted and tortured uh, without any protections right. whatsoever. And so these are the trends. Well, it was two-thirds. I mean, the Patriot person Act. of color was two-thirds of a human being back in the day. Well, that's a good, good comparison. Right, for, and for, the Patriot for Act purposes. has been renewed. So it's like, yeah, so this is the way they treat people. And so, I don't know, if people don't aren't alarmed or don't care, then you kind of get what you, you know, get. And we, But some of us are alarmed and kind of horrified and are bewildered as to what to do about it, but actually people are organizing. And the fact that this is so marginalized sort of shows you the success of the government's program, such as the Green Scare, because no one talks about this in the mainstream left. Mm -hmm. And that's a huge mistake, because um, whether or not you necessarily identify with these people, these trends should uh, disturb mm -hmm. you in a country that claims to right. value dissent and freedom of speech. Sure, sure. Okay, Priya Warcry, we got about uh, two minutes. Uh, in the next couple of minutes, how do you want to... What message do you want to leave uh, folks who are all over Manhattan who are listening right now? Uh, so just check out Free's website, freefreenow.org, and try to get involved somehow in saving the environment. You know, we call it the environment, but really it's your planet. It's where you live, and that matters. Uh, all the cities and sort of dead matter on top of it don't matter as much <laughs> as the beauty that is available to you. Um, well, why does it matter? Why shouldn't we put, enslave all of nature? <laughs> enslave. Uh, no, it's enslave not like all there's of nature no value to cities. Humans, I mean, people uh, are there. Humankind's but, uh, standard of living and humankind's uh, desires so that we can get anything we want. At this point, the impossibility, you know, th there's a sort of extinction that is possible because of the way we live, and that includes human extinction. And... Um, you know, maybe natural selection is afoot. Perhaps this species is worn out, is welcome, and it's time to go. Now, there are some cultures that are live in, able to live in harmony with nature, and they will probably survive. So that's something to think about while you enjoy your iPod and uh, whatever else. <laughs> right. Now, how about my question? Are you uh, disappointed by uh, President Obama, or were you never, uh, did you never really expect that much anyway? God, disappointment is not the word. <laughs> uh -huh. No, man, you know he's reading a script. You don't get to that position unless you're able to. So the fact that you think, you know, most of it was just sort of a desperate relief from George Bush and dickhead Cheney. But uh, the fact is we still have uh, many significant concerns that need to be addressed. And I hope people get organized and are able to do that instead of, I don't know, not or being counterproductive somehow, you know. Mm, right. Well, uh, Priya War Cry, uh, thank Just you very much. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not after you. That's <laughs> not me. I didn't make that up. <laughs> right. Priya War Cry, thanks for the joining shout us. Shout out to uh, Jeff. <laughs> okay. You might be seeing this at least on, on YouTube. Uh, I'm Paul DiRienzo. This has been Let Them Talk. We'll be back next week. Uh, Joan Moosey, my uh, usual co host, is uh, on sabbatical. She'll be back in a week. And uh, have a wonderful holiday, okay? And New Year's Eve, of course, I think is uh, the progressives' holiday coming up, the real holiday for progressive people. So. Have a great Happy New Kawanza, Year's Eve. Happy Kawanza, everybody. <laughs> Have a great New Year's Eve.